करें और जो भी मैसेज है इस्लामिक लीव के लिए और पाकिस्तान के लिए ख़ास तौर पर जो स्टाफ है तो इसलिए फिर डॉक्टर हानी ने इस पूरे वक्त में से जो मसरूफियात हैं उनमें से वक्त निकाला है कि वो यहाँ बात कर सकें आप लोगों के साथ तो ये मौका होगा कुछ हम इनकी बात सुनते हैं और फिर कुछ और चीज़ होती है तो वो आप लोगों ने कोई सवाल पूछना है कोई बात करनी है तो फिर इसका इन वक्त भी होगा तो डॉक्टर हानी दिस इज़ दीम फ्राम पिंडी एंड इस्लामाबाद सो द इस्लामाबाद कंट्री ऑफिस टीम एंड ऑल्सो माइक्रो फाइनेंस टीम फ्राम रॉयल पिंडी Uh, both are here. Uh, we will have, we will make du'a for our brother who yes. lost his life in yeah. road accident uh, a week ago. Uh, alhamdulillah, uh, this team has put themselves together again, stronger than before. Alhamdulillah, uh, and doing what they were supposed to do. Uh, so, over to you. Will we want introduction from everyone, or it will take time? Yeah. So, <coughs> yeah. So. लोकल पीपुल this area and to let you to be able to see how can you interact people talk about social mobilization is that right people talk about youth mobilization what do you mean by social mobilization anyone from the program here sorry What do you mean by social mobilization? Any one from the program? Yes. Yes, go on. Yes, go on. Yeah. So social mobilization is to mobilize the local people to bring on any particular agenda which they are facing in terms of humanitarian issues or developmental needs. Very good. Local people. Yeah. Local people. Yeah, but we need to have greater impact by the young people of Pakistan. We've got 220 or 210 million now. At least, at least, at least 80 to 90 million people are young. Are we successful in making the young people or mobilizing the young people to enable them to understand what's happening in different areas? What's our role? Are there organisation, are there developmental organisation? or humanitarian organization because you mobilize the, 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 the local community which is vulnerable affected suffering but to have a very young talented people in our country what's our role of mobilizing them to lead them the future leaders to lead them to be community builders that the fund raise for the country and fight against poverty and make poverty history this is a challenge can us claim that actually we are 220 million people but we are not using our resources rightly especially our human resources we must find a way we must find a way to be able to mobilize the young generation to help us in any part in Pakistan not only that to make them our ambassadors for the future and the successful leader is the one who will be able to create leadership while he is or she is in the office don't wait till you leave the office and cry on the vacuum that you left behind because there was no leaders to fill it no leaders to fill it so our message today we can do it because we have the vision because we have the drive because we are committed to serve and save our community and our country not only our country our humanity and we have the young talented people who will be able to take it forward 
So you have to bring them to help them, to empower them, whether they are men or women. I'm very happy that at least 30% of the people, or 25% of the people in the room are men. Is that right? <laughs> are women now. Not everyone is sleeping. <laughs> they know that. I'm very happy to, to see that a yani, good size of the number of you are actually uh, women, which is a very good sign of quality leadership of the organization in Pakistan. What do we need? We've been here 25 years, and we're going to be here another 25 or 50 years to come. Yes, sir? We can meet somewhere after 50 years, and sisters will cook for us, and you make the tea. Chai? No, here. <laughs> I am going to drink the tea you are going to make after 50 years. Yes? And he's going to invite us to his house. Yes? Why is she never making the tea? Yes. Huh? his house. No, no, but she is a very good tea maker. <laughs> he's just going to receive us because he's not a good cook. <laughs> So this is what you need to look for the future. Our mission is a never-ending story. It's a never-ending story. It's on the move. To move societies on the move. To develop societies on the move. To build society on the move. To build society with only our society. As Muslims, you should consider yourself as a global citizen. Not only a Pakistani citizen. Not only Asian citizen. You are a global citizen. Your vision is to help and save humanity through the teaching of Muhammad Sallallahu The best of mankind, the best of the teacher, the best of the prophet, the best of the messenger. No doubt. In our country, we have to build our community. In our country, we have to help our government. In our country, we have to build partnership with other organizations. In our country, we need to forget about the ego of the logo. Alhamdulillah, this room does not have a logo. The ego of the logo is a killer. It's a killer. Let us build our country collectively, our society collectively, our community collectively. When we build, when we stretch our hands to other organizations, whether it's community-based organization, or local organization, or international organization, or government organization. This kind of stretching the hand to include everybody and everybody, anybody, it is a must. As we said it yesterday, in Quetta, it's like kalima. You come to Islam, say, La ilaha illallah. You work on social and humanitarian work and development work, you have to build partnership. You cannot do it alone. The problems are affecting our country here, whether it's in Sindh, or in Baluchistan, or in Fatah. Fatah as well is beyond beyond, beyond the capability even of our government. We have to stretch our hand to the hand of the government and to every society and every community-based organization to let us work collectively and have a greater impact on the life of the people who are affected by poverty and drugs. By poverty and drugs. Because what? Because as you have been teaching me for the last 25 years, you are working, or we are working for our masters. Who's our master? Um, I don't know, but I'm Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's fine. Anybody else? Who's our master? Of course, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is our master. Anybody else? Don't call them beneficiaries. They are benefiting, or we are benefiting from them. We are the beneficiary. They are the landlords. They are the master, the provider of our salaries. Owner. Huh? Owner, Owner of, our, 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 of, our, of our organization. Don't talk about that you have a chairman, or you have a boss, or you have a CEO. What do they call you? <laughs> CD or CD will make him BD. Or AD, what's AD mean? <laughs> or ED. ED is good. ED is good, okay. I wish to rise to the standard of Mawlana Eidi, Rahmatullahi And since he mentioned Mawlana Eidi, he sees the vision of Mawlana Eidi. 
is to save life to leave the bed. <coughs> Very simple, objective. He was not qualified from having master degree or PhD or speak five or six languages, but he had the vision in his heart and the drive to build this movement to save lives. And all of us should make dua for him. The way he lived, he's an icon. He's an icon not only for Pakistan, for humanity. <coughs> we should have nominated him for Nobel Peace Prize. But we did not, because we did not know how to utilize our resources, how to promote our pioneers, and how to show the achievement, the greater achievement of people like Maulana Idi. It's just like anybody. Well, Shirwar Kamis does not speak English. But what he done to humanity on the land of Pakistan is incredible achievement. We should be motivated by his mission, his life, and his contribution. May Allah be pleased with his soul. Okay. And we want to be like him. Of course, we all would like to be like Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Follow the footsteps. But we have role models in our society. Why don't we rise to this level and to elevate ourselves to the level of Maulana Eji and others? Do you know him? Yes. 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 You've heard of him? Yes. Be like him. He made a change. He made a positive change in the whole country. A very simple but effective idea. Rahmatullah Ali. How many lives with the Lord of Allah has been saved by his idea, by the small ambulances, by the trust of the people who give Maulana Idi the money? You need to build the trust with the local community. Not only the work for local community, but if they trust us, Allah will open the gates of risk for all of us. The trust ship has to be built from the local community. From the orphans, from the widow, from the destitute, from the poor, from the skin. If this trust has been built by them in us, Allah will never make our mission to end. We are never ending the story, a never ending mission. This is your mission. You are not here as employees. Are you? No. You are here as somebody for carrying a message and to deliver it to humanity in action. You are not listening to any British or any American or any Canadian or any British who come from different countries. Not because they speak English and they speak Urdu, you are less than them. Never believe that anybody is better than yourself. The difference between us and them is our heart, our commitment, our dedication, and our patience to achieve our mission. This is what we need to have from you. This is what we need to have from you. Let the local community in the country strengthen your mission. Drive your dreams and make your vision to become true. It's not the budget coming from this country or this country. It's not the funding coming from this agency or this agency, but it is the relationship between us and the sincerity to serve and help the community that we are claiming that we are serving. This is the success. And this is the mission. And this is the never-ending story of Islam and of social change and of positive social change of community building, empowerment, and ownership to the local community. Don't be just happy to just achieve a project. This is good, but not good enough. But be happy to be accepted as a servant by those people in this area. If our credibility is high before Allah, if our integrity is accepted before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will, they will make us to be their servants. They will make us to be their servants. They will make us to be the servants. So one of the characteristics of the character of any humanitarian and development and social worker is to show his or her humility. 
to the people who paid his salary, who paying his salary or her salary. Never ever upset them. Never ever hurt their feeling. Never ever harm them. Hurt their feeling. Never ever harm them. And this is the mission. You are not here as workers. You are here as follower of the best of teacher of humanity. And the best of teacher of humanity was the servant of humanity. If you want to be elevated, bow down to the cause of to save humanity, to serve humanity, to build and protect humanity. It's not a joke. It's not difficult to give us money or not. It's not USAID give us money or not. Or the give us it is how can we give from our hearts our love to the community to plant the tree of love which led the shower of risk and blessing from Allah come down on this piece of land. Our love will plant the tree of love. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will shower his risk on this piece of land. If we have the right love for the right people, if we have the clear intention that we are trying to cleanse our heart. So ego is out of the way. Ego is out of the way. <coughs> Thinking badly about other organizations, so Azan is the shaver which shave the deen, not the hair. So Azan. Thinking bad about other organization or other brother or other system. It is the shaver of deen, not the shaver of hair. So we should treat any organization in the country with respect. Any partner in the country with respect. Any poor individual in the country with respect and with honor and with dignity so they can trust us. And once they trust us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will open the gates of heaven to shower the risk upon us. It's not a joke. It's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made humanity for. Each one of us should complement the Lord of others. No one of us can claim that he or she is the best. Because the best is dead now. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And after him all the prophets are dead. Alayhi wa sallam. <clears throat> but we will follow the footsteps of the best by being together. Build them together. Guide them to another. Then showing humility of letting others to lead while you are supporting. Which is very difficult. This is a very big challenge for us. Especially our country, Pakistan, is facing, facing a lot of uh, social challenges, a lot of security challenges, a lot of economical challenges, and many challenges. We should be the people who stand up to try to clear or to fight these challenges and help our country and our people. So my message to conclude is mobilization of young people. You talked about social mobilization, brother, block committee, but we need you to mobilize <laughs> the young generation to help, to direct, and to build our society to protect and fight poverty in our country. And be the future ambassador, not only for Pakistan, but for humanity as a well. whole. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. Well, I take the opportunity to thank you very much. And I accept the invitation 2050, no, 20, 68. 68, 68. And you make the tea. And who's going to bring the prata? The prata. And what are you going to do? Eggs. Omelette, huh? And you just make the, 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 the venue, huh? Very good. And tell your wife just to host us. Okay? And they do the cooking. Jazakumullah. May Allah bless you, inshallah. Yes, Mawlana. Yes, Mawlana. کہ جو لوگوں کو موبلائز کرتے ہیں یا متحرک کرتے ہیں جو ہمارا کام وہاں پہ 
हर जगह पे कर रहे हैं जैसे पिंडी में भी है जैसे माइक्रो फाइनेंस में है जैसे हम बच्चों और खातन के साथ काम कर रहे हैं पिंडी में इसी तरीके से 